Hey everybody, how's it going? Stoutman coming back at you once again, and today I'm going to be talking to you about some stuff that I actually got from Mercari. Uh, as you may or may not know, I've been getting into this whole reselling kind of thing, uh, using any and all means I can to find things, mostly DVDs and Blu-rays, since that's what I know, online or through thrift shops and stuff like that, or even just through clearance at, you know, retail stores and whatnot, in order to take that stuff that I find for a really good price and then sell it for a little bit more money and, in the end, make money. So one of the methods that I've been using for this, one of the means of making money through reselling, for me, that I've been using has been Mercari. And Mercari is kind of like, it's an app on your phone. Here, I'll go ahead and... Uh, bring it up. It's an app on your phone. You may have seen apps kind of like this. Here I'll go to the uh, electronics media. They kind of changed it up now and it's not as good. But anyway, here you go. See, they've got kind of a list of different things that you can uh, get there. I have no idea what that star thing is, but okay. Anyways, that was just the media section on there. And I go and I peruse through there sometimes look to see if there's anything that's like a really good deal because it's kind of like eBay except for if eBay was only buy it now so people will list DVDs on there for maybe like six dollars with free shipping and you look it up and realize oh this is out of print and it's rare and it's worth like fifty dollars buy now have it shipped for six dollars total and make profit you know what I mean that's the basic idea behind my using Mercari for this, especially because it's so easy. All you have to do is go on there, click buy, and you're done, and it gets sent to you, and then you put it on eBay or whatever the heck you want to use in order to sell it. So, with, of course, like I mentioned in the last video, you can't really use Amazon because Amazon won't let pretty much anyone sell it. DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff like that on there anymore due to a bunch of people who were selling bootlegs whether they knew it or not and yeah now nobody gets to so that's how that works anyways lately one of the things I will show you that I haven't put up on eBay yet but I'm planning to one of the things that I found on there it was six dollars, but then there was like three dollars shipping, so it came to nine dollars. Or no, it was five dollars with four dollars shipping. But yeah, nine dollars for this particular movie, and I knew it was out of print and fetching fairly decent prices. So I'm not a huge fan of the movie. Decided to pick it up here. Got Hot Dog the movie on DVD, and check the disc. It's in really good condition, like practically brand new. So. I wasn't too uh, worried about that. I was pretty happy with that. I wasn't too upset about that particular pickup. $9, and I expect to be able to turn around and sell it on eBay for between $15 and $20. It's not a huge profit, but if it's enough, it's enough of a profit that, you know, I'm not taking a lot of time to do this. I'm literally going on uh, Mercari, surfing through these things, because I like to surf through it. Sometimes I find something that I want, and... Uh, just, you know, I'm surfing for myself, but on the side, if there's anything that I don't want that's worth money, I pick it up. And this will take me like an hour's worth of work to just go and, you know, take the photo or whatever. Not even an hour, like half an hour worth of work. Take the photos, put it up on eBay, and then if it doesn't sell the first time, I just keep putting it on there. It takes me like less than five minutes each time. So, like, not a lot of work to put into it. And I'm making like probably five to ten bucks back on this. Not bad. I am okay with that. I'm pretty happy with that. And it helps to fuel my addiction for collecting. Because then I can turn around and use that money on other things. Like an, one thing that I got for myself from Mercari this week. I literally just looked at it and said, uh, yeah, I want that. That's a really good deal. So I got... The Lethal Weapon Collection here on Blu-ray, it was $12 shipped. Now, for those who don't know, this particular version of the Lethal Weapon Collection, the uh, 
series of movies on Blu-ray is not always easy to find. It was on sale for $10 on Black Friday at certain Walmart locations, but not at my Walmart, so I couldn't get it. So, yeah, I couldn't take advantage of that deal, but $12 is also a very good deal because usually it goes between $18 and $30, depending on whether or not it's in stock or something like that on Amazon or wherever else you're going to look for it. And I've just never seen it for a good price. So when I saw the $12 price tag, I'm like, yep. And granted, there is that other set of it out there, the, the other Lethal Weapon set that literally just kind of has the four pictures, you know. That set is of the old Blu-rays, and they don't have good transfers from what I understand. The, that's the one you want. The new Lethal Weapon collection, the one I just showed you, that's the one that you want to get. This one right here because it has the new transfers so yeah that's the main reason I've been hunting that specific one down and I'm so glad that I found it on there for 12 bucks and it really it shipped really quickly but then there were other things there are other things that I found on there that I picked up that you know maybe I shouldn't have but um, it was worth taking a shot just to see what, if it would work out or not. So, I got this lot of DVDs. Because I there were a couple titles on there that I was thinking, that's something that I want for my collection. And then there were other things I'm like, I bet I can sell all this other stuff on eBay for as much, if not more than, what it costs to get this sent to me. For twenty dollars, the lot was only twenty dollars for all these DVDs, and it ends up being like twenty DVDs. So I got like twenty DVDs for twenty dollars. However, when I received the box, there was no packaging in it, none. Like you know, the 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 bubble wrap, something like that. You know, even just uh, even just paper. You know, some sometimes people look newspaper in there or something like that. To, as padding. There was no padding at all. There was no packaging at all. It was just somebody threw a bunch of DVDs into a box. And the worst part of all, they weren't even all the DVDs that I was that was in the listing. Like the person had an image that they had up of a certain amount of DVD of DVDs and I went off of that image and looked up the titles to see if they might be worth more or if I might be able to sell them on eBay and make my money back, right? And that's how I determined I can make my money back on this and I'm going to go ahead and get it. But then, like I said, they weren't the same titles. Some of them were the same titles from the picture. Some of them were completely different titles that I don't believe were in any listing that this person even put up, period. So it's very strange getting this box. I didn't know what the hell was even going on. It didn't make any sense whatsoever, but here we are. And um, even worse, even worse, of the two titles that I really wanted, they only had one that actually showed up in this box, and that one title didn't even have all the discs in it. So, it's not complete, and that's a big deal because... It was Looney Tunes Golden Collection Volume 5. I have Volumes 1 and 2. I need 3, 4, and 5. This particular lot said it was going to have Volumes, I believe, 4 and 5. Maybe it was 5 and 6. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, it was two of the Volumes that I needed. When it arrived, this was the only Volume in there, and... Then I opened it up and looked at the discs, and well, for some reason this last disc, the fourth disc, doesn't want to go in there. Doesn't want to stay, I should say. But, uh, there you go. One little glance and you might not notice it, right? But, look a little bit closer here. Those are the same disc twice. So I got two copies of disc two of the vo of volume 5 golden collection and disc 3 and disc 4 no disc 1 
So what am I supposed to do with this? I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with this and the DVD fell out again. On top of that, with the exception of one disc, just one, they were all fairly heavily scratched. Like, at least one of these discs I can guarantee won't even freaking play. So honestly, what I'm probably going to do with this one is donate it to Goodwill. And that really crushes me because that was one of the ones I was planning to keep for myself. One of the reasons I was doing this to begin with. Yeah, kind of disappointing. As if that weren't bad enough, there were more discs with issues. So, found Half Past Dead here, which was not a part of the original lot, but showed up anyways. Uh, the disc inside has a crack on the inner ring. So I can't sell that. Oh look, it's the bear. But wait. It's not the bear. It's Return to Neverland. I believe the bonus disc. Maybe it's actually... Nope, it's the movie. But uh, I'm not even going to show you how bad the disc was scratched. Because it was the worst of all of the ones that I got. So, yeah. Don't, don't want to see that. Uh, again, the inner ring of this, like, this again was not in the listing, but the inner ring of this copy of Call of Duty 3 is cracked and looks like it's about to fall apart, so I'm probably going to donate that. Like, it still probably would play, but I'm not going to sell it and then have somebody leave me negative feedback because the inner ring is cracked. Like, I know it's cracked, right? I don't want to deal with that crap, so... Lost Voyage, this one has, I believe, just it's scratched to hell. Night Moves, scratched to hell. Scratched to hell. Scratched to hell. Scratched to hell, and you guessed it. Scratched to hell. So. Obviously, a lot of these are not even titles that I was interested in, but I figured I could probably sell them if I locked them up and to, like, you know, say we've got all these, like, I've got two Barbie movies here, uh, Porky and Pig and, Porky Pig and Friends and Bratz Kids Fairy Tales, you know, uh, a little, a, a, a lot for little girls, right? Little girl DVD lot, right? I can just list it as Barbie DVD lot. Porky Pig, Bratz Kids, something like that. Put that in there and people might bid on it if I put it up for like 99 cents or something like that. Who knows how high that'll go. But I bet I could actually, if these had been in good condition, I probably could have put this lot like this up for 3 $4. Which doesn't sound like much at first, but again, every little penny helps in earning back the money that I paid for <laughs> these titles so yeah disappointing that I can't use these or these because all these have issues that just if I were to sell it on eBay I might get a negative feedback and that's not worth the few dollars that I might earn from it it's just not worth the hassle at all so giving that the goodwill Long the one and only title I got in this box that I actually really wanted. Although that was disappointing. Like, all these discs are in terrible condition, I can't even sell them, right? And it was listed as like new. These were all listed as like new. Like, I'm looking down here and I'm seeing at least a third of the box was just unusable crap. Except for one disc, literally one DVD that I got, with the exception of that one DVD being in like new condition, everything else had like scratches. Like, I'm not saying they were all terribly, horribly scratched. I'm keeping a few that actually were not too terribly scratched. However, they were, a lot of them were just like, I am would need to resurface this in order to get it to freaking work. And some of them are just like beyond all hope, which is why I'm donating them. So, yeah, it's like, that is not like new. You can't list all these as like new when they have s that many freaking scratches on them. I don't know what the hell is up with this uh, seller on there, but uh, whatever. Anyways, anger aside about that, surprisingly, 
I might be able to make this work. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know. I'm just getting really lucky here, I guess. So, first things first, I uh, found, I believe this might have been, yeah, this was in the listing. This is a Celebrate Family Nickelodeon collection. It has stuff from Yo Gabba Gabba Blues Clues, Nihau Kai Land, Wonder Pets, Go Diego Go, and Dora the Explorer. So, six different episodes on one DVD there. It doesn't go for a whole lot of money, but it does routinely sell for between like three and five bucks. So I can probably get like three bucks out of this, right? Another one that goes routinely for like three to five bucks here, Jack's Big Music Show DVD, Let's Rock. And this one's in pretty good condition. I wouldn't say perfect, but it's all right. And there are four episodes on it with some special features as well, the boot. So I guess you could put that up there as another like $3, 3 to $5. Like that, that's my, my low price on these. I think I can make at least $3 on each of these. And then we have the Jungle Book, 40th Anniversary Edition. Uh, the discs are not great. They're okay though. I think they'll play, right? Like the main movie will play. I don't know about the bonus features though. I cleaned it up as best I could, but we'll see. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to like throw it in there and see if there are any skips immediately. And if there are, I might just either give it to Goodwill or list it as has scratches and take note. You know what I mean? But uh, I figure $6 right here. Add this in, maybe list it at the $7.99. But... I also had a couple of other movies that I've, or DVDs that I have been planning to put on eBay when I get enough to lot them up. Another couple of uh, family related movies. I've got Prancer, which I got a while back on DVD. I, you may even remember the video where I got this, but then the Blu ray came out. I got the Blu ray, so I don't need this anymore. I'll just throw that in there. That's an easy extra $3 value there. And then. <laughs> the full screen version of millions i have the widescreen but i accidentally picked this up for like what was it like 25 cents or something like that at uh at half price books outlet at some point so need to get rid of that as well just throw it in there and then if i list this at 7.99 all of these movies together all these dvds together it'll probably sell maybe we'll see I figure the worst case scenario, it sells for like five bucks, right? And then I'm probably going to wait to put this one in another lot. But uh, got Steven Seagal's Foreigner, The Foreigner. Uh, it's, it does not look great. The disc, I was able to clean up and it's looking better now. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'll probably just leave it hanging around uh, in a pile somewhere until... I get enough action movies that I can lot up into a DVD lot to put on Amazon, but I figure that's another maybe dollar that I can get out of someone if I lot it up on eBay. Worst case scenario, right? The the kids' movies, five dollars on that. And then the Seagal movie, another dollar, six dollars, right? And there are these two movies that are Spanish language films. And they apparently go for as much as like $10 a piece, but more typically in the like $5 range. So again, I'll probably just put these both up for about 5 bucks, see what happens. Maybe even put it down at $4 or something like that. But if I can get... I'm surprised that these even go for that much. But if I can get like 2 bucks per piece out of these, then that'll be 4 bucks. Make that 10 total. That I'm earning out of this box. And then, one of the surprises here. This was actually factory sealed here. Master of Terrors. Halloween H2O. Hellraiser Inferno. Dracula 2 Ascension. And Children of the Corn 5. These are terrible movies. But it's factory sealed. So that'll probably be a good thing. Ultimately. Uh, the Ring 2. This was another one was not on the listing. But... Uh, okay, whatever, I'll leave a lot of it up in the, uh, DVD, in a horror lot, basically. Uh, I figure, by the way, I can get at least, like, two to three bucks out of this, more like two. And then, 
lots it up with this, and also Halloween Resurrection, another one that was not in the listing, but it showed up anyways. Um, the disc isn't in perfect condition, but it should play, it should be alright, no problem. And then the one that will probably sell this lot if it sells. Dawn of the Dead, this is the theatrical version. This is the version I believe I have. Uh, I, yeah, I already have this particular version of Dawn of the Dead on DVD because the Blu-ray is out of print and ridiculous price and not even a good transfer, so yeah. I mean, you can go and get the Blu-ray from uh, the UK or wherever it was. I can't remember where it was. it Italy? Italy, actually, maybe? But there's a really nice new Blu-ray cut that I believe it's like doesn't even have the English language cut on it. But uh, yeah, it uh, it looks really cool, and I would like to get it at some point. But until then, I'm gonna stick with this particular version of it. But this is one of the big reasons that I picked up the the lot because I figured this one I can actually get some money for. This I can get like three, four bucks on uh, for it on it on eBay and I mean you lot that up with this but you can make another two dollars on five six and then these two maybe fifty cents a piece you can put that at seven I would probably put this these up there at uh, five ninety nine and see what happens you know what I mean so let's say that does sell for like six bucks right sixteen we're at sixteen now I paid twenty dollars for the box finally we get to the last few titles here that were in the box. 50 First Dates, I believe this was actually one of the ones that was in the listing. DVD's in okay condition, not even worth, I would say, like 50 cents even in good condition. So if you lot it up, it might make some, but you're not going to make much. Uh, Monster in Law, this is the one that was not in the listing, but it was literally like the best condition of all of them this is like new I don't think anybody's even watched it once so yeah and it comes I don't know if you could tell it came here with the uh, original o-ring so our slip cover I guess is what you would call it so yeah not bad I don't think I can make much money off of it anyways but let's call that another dollar maybe and then Guild Member here, one of the Austin Power movies, one of the ones that most people didn't like. Add another 50 cents on there, and that's like $2. But then I also have this. Since I got the Blu-ray, I don't need the DVD. So I got the DVD for like a buck or something like that at half price books at some point because I didn't want to pay an exorbitant amount of money for the DVD, for the Blu-ray. So, yeah, I never even got around to watching this on DVD before buying the Blu-ray. And now I'm just going to throw it in with this, lot it up. Probably just start this at 99 cents and see what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if it sells for like 3 bucks or something like that. 325 that sounds like a pretty round number to expect for something like that. So, we're at about $20. Close to $20. If even one of those lots sells for a little bit more than the lowest amount I'm expecting, I'll make my money back on just the DVDs there. However, however, another thing showed up along with these, and that would be this little uh, super game pack Nickelodeon thing. It's got Nickelodeon Bingo, The Backyardigans, Mission to Mars, and Blue's Clues, Meet Blue's Baby Brother. So this is like a really old, really crappy uh, PC game thing that would get added on with like, who knows. I don't even know how, what this was added on with, but I'm assuming a video game, a movie, a book, something, a toy maybe. This was... Uh, put to put in with a, a toy or something like that and it was literally just this cheap throwaway software that isn't even very good and I wouldn't want to play it myself I'm not interested I don't think kids nowadays would be that interested but uh, because of that I was just like this probably isn't worth a damn thing go ahead and look it up on Amazon just on a whim the highest price 
the buy box on it, like the, the new price on this, $19.90. $19.90. I'm like, that has to be somebody just trying to sell this for way, way more than it's worth. This is basically trash, right? Uh, I go ahead and I look on Camel Camel Camel. I looked on eBay first, and there, while there are people selling it for $9.99, $8.99, there are no sold listings. So I looked it up, and this is a game, guys, so I can't actually sell it on eBay. I can. Um, but I looked it up on Camel Camel Camel, and uh, they had shown listings of it being sold. I can't really say sold, can I? Because they don't really show you that information, at least not for free, on Camel Camel Camel. But uh, from what I was seeing, it looked like it had been at the price of about 15 dollars when it last sold and I'm like somebody paid fifteen dollars for this and it apparently sold at some point during the last year or so too like what in the hell and I looked at the used listings this is used for fifteen dollars crazy so I looked on there and it said like the lowest used price ever was like eight dollars and something I'm just like you have got to be kidding me Look at the disc condition, and it's got some uh, fingerprint smudges and stuff like that, but it's okay. It'll work. So, of all things, this tiny little thing that I would have just thrown away, assuming this isn't worth anything, I bet you I can get like $5 out of this, you guys. I'm going to be shocked, but I bet you I can get $5. So even if all those DVDs sell for less than I'm expecting, far less than I'm expecting. Say I get like $15 out of all of them. Five bucks. There, we're back up to 20. I made all my money back on this box. And that was the original plan. Make your money back and then take the, uh, the uh, Looney Tunes Golden Collections for yourself for free, essentially. Unfortunately, they didn't come with package the way that it said they would so that's a bummer however I'm not done yet there were a few other things things that I was was not expecting to find in here at all some that I wasn't expecting to find some that were actually in the listing so I'll start with the one that was in the listing actually the one that was in the listing and that would be this afterlife DVD I didn't know what it was I couldn't find any information on it because there are a lot of movies called Afterlife. Go look it up. There's like six or seven of them. And I was like, I don't know what this even is. I can't find any information on it. Uh, I actually get it in the box. I look on the back and I see BBC. I'm like, a BBC title? Oh, that's going to be worth money. So it is kind of a, sort of a, worth a little bit, but not that much. But uh, I looked it up on it. IMDB and it's got like an 8 out of 10 rating. I'm just like you're kidding me and Come to find out. Oh Season one. This is an actual like television series that I've never heard of before that was from the BBC And it's got a rating of like 8 out of 10 um, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this for myself, you know if I can't uh, If I can't keep the uh, Looney Tunes for myself. I might as well keep this. Why not? The discs weren't even really in good condition. I'll be surprised if one of them even plays the second disc, but uh, you know, if it does, then I can watch the show and see for myself if it's worth picking up the second season. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. I, I have uh, high hopes because it's got such good ratings, but uh, we will see basically free. Now the rest of these were not in the listing. They were not shown anywhere in the picture in the listing, but I'll take it anyways. And first off we have Pink Panther A Pink Christmas. I didn't even know there was a Pink Panther Christmas episode, but yeah, I'm always looking for Christmas stuff, new Christmas or old Christmas stuff that I haven't seen before to watch. And uh, this looks like it's pretty cool. But uh, when I opened it up, there was something quite interesting that kind of just popped out, just like it did just there. Oh, look. 
It's the fifth disc to the Pink Panther Classic Cartoon Collection. You know that one that goes for like 60 freaking dollars? So, I don't know how many discs are in that set. I think it's like 10 or something like that, but you got to figure this is worth a few bucks. Even then, I'm not going to sell it as just the fifth disc. That'd be kind of weird. And I don't know if you could tell, but there are just a boatload of scratches. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell. Oof. There are a boatload of scratches on this. It'll be amazing if it even plays. So, yeah, I'll just keep it in here with... Yes, it did come with the correct Pink Panther Christmas disc. And that disc is actually in a lot better condition, so it should play. Should be no problems with that. And if it works, or if I can get it to work somehow, maybe with like a resurfacing thing at some point. I've also got the fifth disc of the Pink Panther DVD collection. Huh? <laughs> Next up here, we have In the Bedroom, which I had never even heard of before, never even seen, but this caught my eye. Academy Award nominations, five best picture or five Academy Award nominations, Best Picture nomination, apparently, in 2001. I, again, had never even heard of this. I don't know anything about this movie, uh, but it definitely struck me as interesting. as like, wait a minute, this won awards, or this was up for awards at some point, and I never heard of it. So I looked it up on IMDb, and sure enough, it has some pretty damn good ratings. So I said, you know what? Like I said, I can't do anything with that Looney Tunes DVD, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep this for myself for free. Might as well. And then, similar scenario, I got We Were Soldiers was not on the original listing, but um, I'll take it because I haven't actually seen this yet. I do want to pick up the Blu-ray at some point, but if I can get this for free and just watch it for free on DVD, then... That works too, and then I can pick up the Blu-ray at some point, but don't have to worry about this because I'll basically be I'll basically be getting it for free. And then the last but not least, the last DVD here that I plan to keep, another one that was not in the original listing, and one that is now out of print, and I wouldn't say rare and hard to come by, but you know, getting kind of hard to find. The Day After. This is a post-apocalyptic movie, uh, as my good friend Zach said, starring Steve Gutenberg. So truly terrifying. <laughs> but no, I've never actually seen this movie, and I've all—I wouldn't say I've always wanted to, but ever since I started getting into like post-apocalyptic stuff, ever since I started, you know, playing more of the Fallout games and stuff like that. I've been meaning to check out this movie. I've not heard great things, but at the same time, I don't think it'll be too terrible. We'll see. And again, out of print. Not easy to find. Not necessarily always easy to find, I guess you could say. And uh, now I can watch it. So, yeah, pretty cool to be able to get that full free in this collection here of uh, DVDs in this DVD lot. So in total, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, two, thirty-two media items for twenty dollars. And let me do the math here. Ten of them were damaged beyond repair. I'm going to be selling seventeen of them and keeping the other five, sixteen, seventeen, something like that, keeping the other five. And after the sale of those DVDs, I will have made my money back and that was the plan all along with this particular lot because I could tell just from looking at it even from the uh, original listing that I was not going to be able to make like a huge profit off of these and I can tell you right now I'm not going to make a huge profit off of these but the idea was take the stuff you want put them in your collection essentially for free and then you know sell the rest and make your money back on it you know seems like it seemed like a fun thing to me to do and I stand by that decision because quite frankly even though it didn't work out exactly as I had planned it's still likely going to work out and I'm still likely going to be able to get a few DVDs here for free essentially and it's something I actually enjoy doing you know what I mean it's like 
I actually started cleaning these discs and looking into them and all that stuff once I uh, finished my work for the day. And usually at the end of a work day, I don't want to do any more work. And this is technically work. You're putting effort into getting these ready to sell on eBay and determining whether you can sell them on eBay or whether you should sell them on eBay, whether you should, you know, give them to Goodwill or whatever. All that kind of stuff. It, it's research. It takes time and effort. And that's time and effort that you could be using to make money or just to have fun and do whatever the hell you want to with your time off. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's valuable time that you're spending on that. But for whatever reason, I just enjoy doing it so much. I have so much fun looking into the value of these things and figuring out what I can sell and how much I can sell it for and things like that. And, you know, just handling the physical media that I enjoy collecting so much. I enjoy it so much that it's not even like work to me. It's just fun. It's just pure entertainment. I don't know why it works like that for me, but it does. And I am so happy about that because it's nice to know that you can earn a little money or even just make your money back on some stuff and pocket a few free DVDs in the in the meantime and and still have fun while you're doing it even though it's technically work that you're doing so yeah I don't know man it's cool I enjoy it if you could find something that you could do that with if you enjoy selling things if you enjoy knowing the value of a certain thing like I do and trying to figure out what's worth something and how much you can make off of it and stuff like that then I suggest making that kind of like a hobby for you, the way that I'm turning it into a hobby. And, you know, making potentially a few extra bucks on the side or helping it to add to your collection through doing things like this. Like what, I just, what I'm doing here by just making my money back on the box as a whole and getting a few free DVDs in the meantime. So, yeah. Hopefully that all made sense, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.